Hey guys, it's Minister Q. I pray you guys are blessed today. I'm actually on my way out the door, so um, I just wanted to send a quick video, quick audio, I guess, and um, just want to talk about my prayer life, and I'm always reconstructing my prayer life and finding out new things, but what I do also all the time is go back. I think about you know, life and situations, things and people. I think about um, what I need to do with God and then the things that I struggle with. I make sure that I pinpoint and hold it up to God and tell him that this is how I feel about it. If this is bothering me, help me to fix this, help me to love. And if I don't have the right heart, then to give me a new one. Um, I'm still out, out of town in Little Rock, Arkansas, excuse me, for the holidays, for Thanksgiving. And um, I've been praying with my friend. And um, while I've been praying, because, you know, I fast mostly during the day and I eat at night, what, as late as 8 o'clock, um, fast, you know, during the day. Um, I'm more in tune with the spirit and I feel like that's very, very prevalent, very pivotal for my life to stay in tune with the spirit. You know, even if I don't feel like it, um, of course I get hungry, of course I want food, but I try to make sure that I keep a reborn, redeemed mindset. And, um, that means, you know, putting God first and putting my spirit man over the flesh. Um, as you know, we all know that our flesh is the one that gets us in trouble, our flesh is the one that can lead us astray and be drawn away. And um, I'm just really holding the reins by upholding prayer. So I just studied Revelation today with my friend. Uh, we actually went to a Christian bookstore yesterday and found a book that breaks down Revelation, like all of it. And I'm like, wow. So um, feeding my spirit man, still playing Psalms 91 at night. Um, I have noticed that... Um, you know, I dream, you know, still in the middle of, you know, playing Psalms 91. And I think it's just dreams of self-reflection and things I need to work on. And I'm definitely paying attention to those things. And yesterday while praying, I felt manifestation, meaning because I'm in the spirit, because I fast a lot. And I only eat once a day and um, of late because of the holidays. I've a few times I've eaten twice a day, eaten twice a day, excuse me. <laughs> and I'm OK with that. But um, I can feel and I felt movement in the spirit. And um, as I was praying, meaning I could feel virtue, I could feel power, I could feel that my prayer was doing something. And uh, when I pray, I definitely, definitely make sure that I'm using the word of God. So I could feel like a stirring and movement in the atmosphere. It was like a wind. And I and it's just like, whoo, whoa. And um, at that particular point last night, I had just, um, I think I had coffee and I had um ate already but I ate once and I hadn't that long eaten and I was just kind of kind of like woozy but I was like whoa wow you know when we were praying and everything so I just want to thank God for you know manifestation and the virtue and power because you know the power of the word of God I want to talk about the word of God you know it's just not there it's not dead it's just not sitting there you know on the page and, and you know like it doesn't revelate or come to life. You know, the word of God is powerful. And like they say, it's sharper than any two edged sword. And um, when you use the word of God in prayer, you know, angels move and um, the word of God comes to life. You know, it, it's power in it. And just want to encourage you when you're praying to use the word of God. You know, God is the one who fights for us. You know, it's good to say, hey, God, I feel like you don't hear me. Why this and that, you know, I love you, I worship you, give me this and that, but make sure that you put the warfare scriptures in or whatever scriptures that fits your situation. Um, there are affirmations on online. You can go to Google Play Store and download New King James Version and IV version of the Bible app. It's free. I don't know if you guys know that. For those of you who like headphones and riding in the car a lot, um, a lot of people take their YouTube and put it on Bluetooth on their TV. I'm excited. I've yet to do that. And um, I'm upping my prayer life with worship. 
uh, very soon, and I'm ready to do that too. So there's a lot of things that are slowly rolling out that I feel like it's a latency on, but I'm finally getting it done, and maybe it wasn't the season for it. You know, like I said, there's a way that seems right to a man, but the Lord um, establishes a step. So definitely still fasting and praying on it. Every dream and endeavor that I have, believing God for it and just thanking God for the present and for the now, not despising small beginnings and just trusting the Lord. But the power of prayer is still evident. It is still uh, the same and it exists. And, you know, reach out to God, talk to God, tell him your mess ups. Even if you get angry or get upset, there's plenty of times I want to encourage you that I've gotten upset, gotten angry, tell God, I feel like you don't love me. You know, why would you put me in this situation? Why am I going through this? Why did I come out of that just to go through this, just to go through another thing, you know? Um, and then God has to remind me to count it all joy. And he has to remind me that, you know, your life is going to be hard and don't worry about what the devil does and how the devil uses people. You need to stay focused on me. Those whose eyes are stayed upon the Lord, he shall keep in perfect peace. That is a scripture. You can Google that. Um, think about your life and what you're doing. Focus on yourself so that you can be able to help somebody else. Um, sometimes, you know, some of us can be so broken and so messed up. We can end up torturing, hurting, destroying, and damaging um, our um relationships, whether if it be in family, whether if it be in friends, or whether if it be our relationship with God. Um, we need to find a place where we are not um tormentful to people um in any aspect, whether if it be material physical, spiritual, mental. Um, we need to be loving. We need to have good fruit. We need to have something where someone thinks about us. It's like, wow, I want to pick up that phone and call that person, you know, and I, I want to vent, you know what I mean? So, um, we just need to work on ourselves and, um, a little bit of something can never kill you too much of something can. And, I remember saying that in my group chat just recently, but what I'm trying to say overall today is we can't do anything without God. We can't expect ourselves to be loving without the spirit of God. We don't know what we're doing. We're unknowledgeable and it's understandable. It should be to yourself, but it's also understandable to God why you are the way that you are. Um, we teach our own self things and we kind of become our own uh, support, but God wants to take over. He wants to be sovereign. There's a way that he wants us to go in that pathway, even if it's long, because it says narrow is the way to life, which leads to life. Broad is the way that leads to death. And we have to take our time. We have to wean out some things that are not of God. And even if we don't agree with God or our family or our spouses or our friends, our daughters, you know, father, mother, whatever, we need to start working on those things. Um, God is loving, but he's also judgeful. And uh, not only is he judgeful, but he's, but he's very loving. Um, time is running out. We all know that there's a time and a place for everything. And uh, everything can be accepted. We can't accept all the laws of what someone wants to put out. We have to accept what's best and right for the land. You know what I mean? What's fruitful. So with that being said, I pray that you guys have a blessed day. I pray that everything goes well today. I pray that you're recapping and that you're staying with the basics and that you understand that you need God, that you need love and you need forgiveness to make this world go around and have peace. Be blessed.